Alright guys, so welcome back to my channel and as you can see right now I have lots of my daffodils that are blooming in here specifically this Mount Hood daffodils and of course the white fishes as well don't forget and it smells really good yeah it smells so good my god it smells it smells really good here in our garden right now because of these precious and also over there there's some more daffodils in here that are blooming right now and it really looks beautiful and of course the smell here oh my god it's so so fragrant this freesia smells so good look at that and this one oh my god lots of flowers just with one stem and <clears throat> there's some more in here and just want to show you also my my rose here is just about to bloom very soon and this is my julia child and i can't wait to see this one bloom soon and luckily this one has um, escaped the pest that is going on right now with my rose which we will be talking about in a short while and also this ones in here they are looking good and this one too so this is the roll down so i just need to put this one in here and what else and this one is the rosa my mom from bob matthews and here are my two um course decor course the vendi sorry course the vendi roses this one seems to be starting to show some growth already and this one is still getting there so yeah but i think they are both doing well so far and so as i was saying a while ago um i just really want to share with you um what i'm experiencing right now a really bad experience with my roses because i am dealing with a pest and i'm not sure if i can consider that as pest or what but based on what i'm seeing on the internet look at this one guys the other day i was really happy because i was about to see one of the flowers of my pink ribbon which is this one and now i'm only left with one and i tried to cover this one because something is eating this rose in here and i have lots of flower buds before and now i think i'm only left with very very few so um let me just check oh my god i hope this one is not broken because i only have very few roses left with flower buds because of the pests so as you can see something is really eating it and the leaves are falling down and look at that and some of them as mentioned the flower buds itself have been cut and this one as well in here so i'm a bit upset and worried about this one luckily i haven't seen anything with my my sweetheart this one is still really looking good and as well as my monstered wood this one is also looking well so far but this is my problem um, ah sorry <laughs> i'm going somewhere else and it's already here so look at this one all of this um new shoots that were coming up were eaten by a pest and based on my analysis on what i have observed in here i think it's being eaten by a leaf cutter bee that's what i suspect but i'm still not 100 percent sure because i haven't seen them and i think they are attacking my roses in the middle of the night and that's just the thing that i'm really worried about based on what i'm seeing in here it might be a leaf cutter because of what i'm seeing in here right now maybe an ant i don't know because i also saw that there's ant cutter 
um, leaf cutter ant and leaf cutter bee as well that can um, infest your roses but at the moment I am not um, really seeing any culprits with my um, roses issues and actually this is this is the most heartbreaking uh, part for me because I am really hoping to see the flower of this particular rose which is called my mom so I already have my mom on the other side in front of our house however because I really I really want to see the flower of this particular rose that's why I bought a bigger one and now I feel a bit saddened because as you can see all of the oh my god all of the new shoots were eaten not one was left nothing is left all of the shoots all of the new shoots were eaten on this rose that's why i feel a bit sad luckily i was not able to buy another pot like this to place on that side so the other um, rose was able to escape this um, this pest and but still you know i'm i'm upset that i'm seeing this thing happening with my roses i never i never thought that this would be a problem yesterday i was passing by um, one of the rose park here in parnell So as you can see here right now guys, the roses in this park are still showing their new shoots, almost the same stage as my roses in our garden. And I just feel a bit saddened because I can see here right now that they're not being attacked by the same pests in our garden. So I need to know the answer, the solution for this. I had a quick look with the roses there and they're almost the same um, stage right now with my roses but I haven't seen any roses there that is um, having the same problem like uh, mine right now that something is eating the, the new shoots and I really want to know so if you guys have any idea on what is going on in here please let me know and I am also worried about these roses I have in here um, especially this Dublin see I'm seeing already another falling leaves in here and this one has one flower I really want to see this flower to bloom soon of course you, we all want to see you know um, the flowers of our roses especially um, this one this is my this is the first time this Dublin Bay Rose will be blooming well all of them are first time blooming here in our garden and I just really don't know how to um, you know um, combat these issues in here especially the pests so I'd like to know what really is the problem luckily this one this one is not infested yet so this is um, another rose called Wildcat this is um, specifically bought by my partner because he likes the color but um let's go to another side so i feel like i need to investigate tonight this um evening or maybe early morning because i feel that the infestation is look at this daffodils in here it's cheering me up somehow because they are all blooming right now looks good anyway going here so <clears throat> This one also I feel sad about this two roses I have in here. This one was also infested and the other one here as well. And I thought initially that it has something to do with um, what do you call this one? With the slugs. And another thing, I also put some slug pellets in here and they disappeared. I think something's eating the slug pellets as well. But then anyway, um, I'm really worried about this one so investigation is underway let's see 
hopefully we'll be able to find out who the culprit is and hopefully this one is not damaged yet oh yes perfect here is another one in here i'm really excited to see the flower of um these roses i have in here so this is my gardener's dream and i can see there's some flower buds blooming soon so hopefully fingers crossed this will continue blooming not will be eaten hopefully it will not be eaten and of course my tranquility which is that one and another one is a moment in time so this one a moment in time is kind of similar to um i forgot the name of that um rose from david austin but it's one of the most popular roses and it's so beautiful because of its champagne color so this is what it looks like on the picture see i forgot the name of that uh, david austin rose oh that's batsheva yeah all right so that's it and it's so beautiful so it's really looking similar to this one and i can't wait to see all of this um, roses blooming here in our garden and yeah hopefully i won't be dealing with any pests soon with this um, roses that i have in here because i'm really excited to see them blooming here and i still have lots of dahlia here to be sold and hopefully i'll be able to sell them later on and i really need to tidy up this uh garden because there are lots of pots and luckily i was able to remove the pots over there but i didn't have time to continue with um the rest but um yeah i think i don't have any choice but to just um continue tidying up and yeah so i think that would be all for today guys and um again if you know the problem of um my roses right now if you have experienced the same problem please feel free to leave your comment in the comment section down below and i will definitely appreciate your help if you know what's going on in here right now i just can't really find um the culprit who's doing this to my roses and if you know any suggestion how to get rid of this pest infestation that is going on right now let me know leave your comment in the comment section and i really really appreciate it all right guys thank you very much and i will see you again on my next one bye for now